Number 5 John Dodson is the number 9th ranked fighter in the UFC bantamweight division. He won the Ultimate Fighter 14 by defeating TJ Dillashaw by TKO in the first round. He then dropped down to the flyweight division and defeated Tim Elliott and Jesse Formiga and faced the current UFC flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson at UFC on Fox 6. After a closely contested fight, Demetrius Johnson was given the unanimous decision victory. After the fight, John Dodson put together a three-fight winning streak, defeating Daryl Montague, John Moraga and Zach Makovsky to earn his second title title shot against Demetrius Johnson at UFC 191. In the fight, Demetrius Johnson showed that he had improved so much since the first time they fought and won the fight by a unanimous decision. After the fight, he moved back up to the bantamweight division and defeated Manuel Gomborian by TKO in the first round at UFC on Fox 19. He last fought John Lineker at UFC Fight 996 where he lost the fight by a split decision. He is a talented fighter and definitely has what it takes to be in title contention in 2017. Number 4 Frankie Edgar is the number 2 ranked fighter in the UFC featherweight division. Although Frankie Edgar has won the UFC lightweight title, he has had a tough time winning the UFC featherweight belt. His move to the featherweight division came when he lost twice to Benson Henderson and was unable to win back his title. In his first fight in the featherweight division, he was granted an immediate title shot against then champion Jose Aldo at UFC 165, where in the fight, Jose Aldo won by a unanimous decision. After the fight, Frankie Edgar put together a 5 fight winning streak, defeating Charles Oliveira, BJ J. Penn, Cub Swanson, Uriah Faber and Chad Mendes in an impressive fashion and faced Jose Aldo again for the interim UFC featherweight title at UFC 200. In the fight, Jose Aldo's striking proved too much for Frankie Edgar and was unable to execute his game plan, in which he lost the fight by a unanimous decision. He last fought Jeremy Stevens at UFC 205 where he won the fight by a unanimous decision. I believe with one or two wins, he will be right back in title contention in 2017. Number 3 Alexander Gustafsson is the number 2 ranked fighter in the UFC light heavyweight division. He made his UFC debut against Jared Haman at UFC 105 where he won the fight by knockout in the first round. He next lost to Phil Davis by submission via anaconda choke at UFC 112. After this loss, he put together a 6 fight winning streak to earn himself a title shot against then UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones at UFC 165. In the fight, Alexander Gustafsson displayed his great striking and even took John Jones down many times during the fight. John Jones was given the United unanimous decision victory in a very close fight. He next defeated Jimmy Manua by TKO at UFC Fight Night 37 and was given the rematch against John Jones at UFC 178. He pulled out of the fight due to a torn meniscus and was replaced with Daniel Cormier. He next faced Anthony Johnson at UFC on Fox 14 where he lost the fight by TKO in the first round. When Daniel Cormier defeated Anthony Johnson for the vacant UFC light heavyweight title at UFC 187, Alexander Gustafsson was given the next title shot at the new champion at UFC 192. In the fight, Alexander Gustafsson lost by a split decision. He last fought Jan Blahovic at UFC Fight 993 and won the fight by a unanimous decision. He is a well-rounded fighter and has all the tools to get back into title contention in 2017. Number 2 Joseph Benavidez is the number one ranked fighter in the UFC flyweight division. He faced Demetrius Johnson at UFC 152 where he lost the fight by a split decision. He then put together a three fight winning streak defeating Ian McCall, Darren Oyanyama and Jesse F. Omega and faced Demetrius Johnson again at UFC on Fox 9 where he was knocked out in the first round. Since that loss, he has put together a six fight winning streak and last defeated Henry Cejudo by a split decision at the Ultimate Fighter 24 finale. He is a hugely talented fighter and definitely has what it takes to become champion one day. He will likely get his third chance at winning the UFC flyweight title in 2017. Number 1 Uriah Faber fought in the UFC bantamweight division and had fought for the UFC bantamweight title many times. He made his UFC debut at UFC 128 and defeated Eddie Wineland by a unanimous decision. He then fought Dominic Cruz for the UFC bantamweight title at UFC 132 where he lost the fight by a unanimous decision. He next defeated Brian Bowles by a guillotine choke at UFC 139 and faced Henan Burrell for the interim UFC bantamweight title at UFC 149 where he lost the fight by a unanimous decision. He next put together a 4 fight winning streak and defeating Ivan Menjivar, Scott Jordanson, Yuri Alcantara and Michael McDonald earning himself another title shot. He faced then UFC bantamweight champion Henan Barrao in a rematch at UFC 169 where he lost the fight by TKO in the first round. He put together another three wins in the bantamweight division and fought Dominic Cruz for the third time at UFC 199 where he lost the fight by a unanimous decision. His last fight in the UFC was against Brad Pickett at UFC on Fox 22 where he won the fight by a unanimous decision. He will likely be inducted in the UFC Hall of Fame in the future.